the Navy declines GovGuam's request for a pause to the clearing and construction of the multi-purpose machine gun range. PNC's Joycelyn Atalig with more on the story. The forest buffer required around the Hudson Lagu or Serianthus Nelsoni tree per the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service has already been met, according to the Joint Region Marianas' Rear Admiral Shoshana Chatfield, hence her letter to Governor Lou Leon Guerrero that denied her request for a pause on the clearing and construction in the area, which stated, quote, Therefore, I respectfully submit that there is no concern about the timing of the future construction of the multi-purpose machine gun range, end quote. In addition, she also reiterated that the military has already implemented various measures to preserve and propagate the rare tree, rendering an apology to the governor for failing to sufficiently explain the permanent protective measures and additional research regarding the tree during their recent tour to the site at Anderson Air Force Base's Northwest Field. But while it is important to better understand the genetic variances between Guam and Rhoda trees, the admiral said this information information will not change the endangered status of the species, stating, quote, regardless of the research findings, the Serianthus nelsoni adult tree and outplanted seedlings remain fully protected with protective measures in place, end quote. Also, during a most recent public hearing on Resolution 164-35, which calls for a pause on all activities related to the live fire training range complex at Northwest Field, Chatfield provided written testimony testimony reiterating the need for the firing ranges proposed by the Navy, due in part to the insufficient sizes of the current ranges on Guam. In a letter penned to the resolution's author, Vice Speaker Talina Nelson, Chatfield wrote, quote, existing ranges are too small for the operational training required for the Marines that will come to Guam. Expansion of existing ranges would have constrained both civilian and military land use or air traffic to an unacceptable degree as these activities occur or have been accustomed to the smaller size and less frequent activation of existing buffer areas, end quote. Meanwhile, PNC has reached out to the governor inquiring whether or not the admiral's reasons for denying the pause is substantial enough for her to withdraw her request for the pause. However, no comment was rendered as of news time.